Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and peace be with you brothers and sisters of humanity. Welcome to another video. I am not an expert in narcissism, but this video, this brother right here screams one. Check it out. When a woman knows that you do not love her unconditionally, her respect for you increases and her love and loyalty for you increases. You know why? Because she places a high price on your love. She values it because you value it. Put a price tag on your love and she will love you even more. Just like your shadow. Try and chase your shadow. You will never catch it. Turn your back on it and it has no choice but to follow you. <laughs> A friend of mine sent me um, the link to his shorts channel. Whew. The amount of narcissistic behavior on display is unbelievable. But you know what though? Isn't that the way things are today? To be narcissistic. Is the new in thing for men. A lot of them. Not all of them. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say all of them. But narcissism is in nowadays. Why play games? What's with the games, brothers? Put price tag on your love. Don't love her unconditionally. How do you even do that? Maybe it's easier for men to do that. Constantly playing games, mind games. It seems like there's this, you know, common theme that's happening nowadays. And it's especially being displayed by My Muslim brothers, subhanAllah, what happened to these men? <laughs> it, it, it's all about, you know, embarrassing women and pinning her down and reminding us that there is a scarcity in men and we should know our place or otherwise we will be starved out of love. I've been noticing this common theme. I don't know if a lot of sisters have, but... And I've been talking to sisters, obviously. Last night, I went out with a couple of my Muslim sisters. And I feel like there's a disconnect. For example, one of them is on a dating site. A couple of dating sites. I am. I'm, I'm too exhausted. I, I don't even have the energy nor the stamina to deal with all the nonsense that's going on. But I wish my sisters who are still in the game all the best, <laughs> you know. But, I mean, these brothers come on so strong. So strong immediately heading for the juggler. You know, I do this to you, I do that to you, I, you know, I, I can't, let's just get married. I mean, immediately. I thought you guys were in control. Sending their shirtless bodies. And some of them, she just met them, like a day ago. I'm like, wait a minute. I thought there was such a shortage in men and men were not getting so desperate. It's all, it's us, the women that are just so desperate for men. We're looking for men. There's a shortage for masculinity and for men. <laughs> I feel like this is just, it's a, some kind of a sick, weird game that a lot of men are playing nowadays. 
What is this? Because the connection is somehow, it's not being made. This man over here, one of his short videos, I don't know where the long one is and I'm not gonna look for it, but he says something about, you know, there's only a few areas where women can achieve high value that we care about, which we care about. But men, there's so many places and so many ways in which you can set yourself apart from the rest. Where women would just basically come after you, long for you. <laughs> Another one, he says, you know, in this, especially the Western world, women need men. They basically cannot survive without men because we have to build the roads and the highways and, you know, the buildings and this and that and the other. There are plenty of women engineers. Yes, it's not our favorite thing. You know, women are not into tech and, 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 and STEM so much, but there are plenty of women who are in that field. There are women who do construction nowadays. There are engineers and architects. Women can do basically anything and everything a man can do. Having said that, there are things that women are into that most men don't care about, although they can do it, too. The same thing. Many things that m men care about or it comes more natural to them. Where women don't really care too much. But to say in the 21st century that women cannot build roads is such a dumb and ignorant thing to say. Basically, nowadays, there's very little, very, very little that woman can do that man can't, or man can do that woman can't. That ship has sailed. That's not to say we are exactly the same, and I'm so sick and tired of this, you know, rhetoric of, you know, equality. Muslim brothers are stuck with, how dare women say we're equal? When we talk about equal, we're talking about our humanity, our humanity, our life, because our life, women's lives have not had as much value as men's for the longest time. For example, a Muslim woman, We could never say we are exactly the same. We know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave each of us a different role and a responsibility. But only those of us whose humanity has been discounted for so long would understand where we're coming from. There's no place in the Quran where one gender is inferior and one is superior. That's where we're coming from when we demand equality. It's our humanity. It's being able to take charge of our own lives and, and, and because every woman might not get married. Every woman might not have a muhrim. Every woman might not have a man who will take care of them. And nowadays we know even though you might have a husband, you might have a brother or brothers, you might have a father. Life is hard enough that, so you better be able to survive on your own if you have to. There are plenty of married sisters, and yes, who are married to Muslim brothers, who are the breadwinners themselves. In cases like that, what are we supposed to do? What do you want women to do if a man is lazy, if he's uneducated, if he doesn't, maybe if he gets sick, if he decides to bite more than he can chew? 
there are plenty of Muslim men who don't even know where their sisters are. Heck, don't even know where their mothers are. And many of these responsibilities usually fall on us nowadays. Women. Women in the Western world. It's women that do most of the caretaking. So this game of, you know, just trying to separate men and women as much as we can, <laughs> we're not supposed to be that separated. We're supposed to be loving each other. You don't have to, it's exhausting to play games. I feel like a lot of men nowadays are so insecure. I, the key is a lot of men, not all men. But a lot of men are so insecure that they constantly are trying to put themselves above us just so they can feel superiority. There's no supremacy. We're all human beings. We're simple, simple, pathetic little human beings. Although Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَغَدْ كَلَمْنَا بِنْ آذَنْ Allah did not only say that it's women we've honored or it's just men that we've honored. Allah said, بَنِ آذَنْ All of mankind, all the children of Adam and Eve, Just stop playing games. Just stop playing games. Most women still love men. But we don't want to be dishonored, mistreated, constantly dealing with insecure little creatures. Grow a pair. If you want us to treat you like men, then become men and stop playing games. Love honestly and live honestly. Stop playing games. It's pathetic. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe.